hello everyone and uh, welcome to another Farm and Simulator 19 video tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the GPS mod or more specifically I should say the steering guidance mod that we are currently using on the Farm and Simulator server. So, you're at the field you want to work on. You've made sure your vehicle has GPS equipped. So now you're going to get started. So the first hotkey combo you're going to need is Alt-C. You'll see that middle icon turns green. That indicates that the GPS is on, active, and ready to receive instruction. So the second hotkey you're going to need is Control-S. Hold Control, press S, and wha-bam, there you are, man. A GUI, a GUI, a graphical user interface, which is just super nice, super nice. So there's a few things you need to do in here. With offset usually this is zero but sometimes with things like plows i think you actually need the offset still and then showing your line so absolutely show your lines auto width is fantastic but i'm not 100 percent sure that it works when your tool is folded up so i would recommend unfolding your tool so that the width is properly calculated control s auto width all right, snap terrain angle. I, I've been advised to turn this off. Basically, if you keep this on, it kind of locks you uh, to more like cardinal directions, I believe. So I'd recommend turning it off if you're not going straight north or straight south or straight east or straight west. Over to the second tab here. Uh, this is where you actually set up the GPS. So this is, this is pretty cool. So this is another new feature. You have shared GPSs so people can make GPSs, save them, and then you can hook them up. So if you're playing on our server, uh, might be worth, note what field you're on, so field three, open this up, and then see if there is a GPS already made. We've got Bird over here, and he's actually doing the weeding. Thank goodness, because I don't have any herbicide. If he was using a GPS and I wanted to join him, we'd need to sync GPS. So I'd want to like reach out to him and be like, hey, Bird, can you share your GPS? And then he'll share it, tell me what it's called, and I'll be able to grab it. That way, the two of us, we can work in beautiful harmony, beautiful sync. Otherwise, even with the GPS, if we both have different ones set up, it's gonna be a nightmare. Bird's just about finished up here, so I'm just gonna continue to use this as a, as a sort of a demonstration. So field three is actually a crazy, crazy looking field here. So what I'd recommend doing is line yourself up like where where you want to start, right? So line yourself up best as you can manually, and then and then set yourselves up. So auto width. So since we're not going in a cardinal direction, we're gonna do an A B straight. So there's a few different functions in here: A B, and then A plus heading. So A B is really simple. So you set A. So there you can see A. Drive forwards a little bit in the direction that you want to go, and then set B. And so that sets the, the the direction for your GPS. Simple as that, right? So now you can see the orange lines indicate the width, so the exact width of the arm. Look at how perfect that is. And then that center line is the steering line. And so since field three, you can see it on the map, it's kind of got like a weird curve to it. This is how you want to set it up so that you can you can get the best line. I, I'd actually go go ahead and say that this is a terrible field to be setting up a GPS for. Like this is, I, I wouldn't bother setting up a, a GPS for a field like this. A, a GPS is much more worth for a field like field one. You can see field one down there, right? If you're harvesting field one or something, the really small harvester especially, that's a field you want to set up a GPS for. But nonetheless, we'll use this as our example. You can see my, my line, a little bit off. If we look a little further down, you can see the field kind of bulges out. So what you're going to want to do is uh, change the angle of your GPS. Okay, there you go. That that looks about all right for that bit of the field there. So um, what you need to do now is your last key binding. This one is Alt-X. Back to Alt again, Alt-X. You heard the sound. You see that center line turning from... Uh, Hi, bird. See the center line turning from green or white to green? That means you're locked on the steering, right? So now if I go forwards, backwards, the tractor will automatically steer 
and follow that line. Which is exactly what we want. And, uh, man, it's going to make your life so easy, man. So easy. So with this, I'll be able to show you guys how to set the heading. Open this up again. And this time, instead of A plus B, we're going to do A plus heading. So to understand headings real quick, it's just like the degrees of a circle, right? In cardinal directions, north, 0, east, 90, south, 180, and west, 270. Basically, if you're going north-south, set your degrees to either 0 or 180, and if you're going east-west, set your degrees to either 270 or 90. Either way should work. So we're going to hit set A, and then immediately, I'm going to ask you for your degrees. We're going south, so 180. Set cardinal. So, there you have it. Lock on again. Alt X. There you go. And so for this field, it's going to be a fantastic GPS. Because this field is straight, like, all the way down. No matter how fast you go, this GPS will keep you on the straight and narrow. And then, hey, you got a friend who wants to come and help you out. Great. All you got to do is type a name. So we'll just do this as, uh, hey, guys. And then you hit the, the plus button there. Boop. And now we can see down here, hey, guys, has been added. So if somebody else wants to join me and help me out, they just open this up, click on that, and it should set the exact same parameters that I have set right now. And all they got to do is Alt-X, just lock on. Also worth noting... Over on the right-hand side there, just above the speedometer, you can see that when I have my steering locked, turns the wheel green and also shows the direction that we're going. You'll reach the end of your line eventually, right? And um, at this point, you're going to want to take over your steering. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can just do Alt-X again to deactivate and you'll be able to steer again. Or you can just force the steer. Just press your steering key, just turn your wheel, whatever it is. If you're on a wheel, you need to actually give it a good bit of rotation uh, before it breaks the steering, but uh, it's it's easy to do, easy to do. And then um, to turn around, just turn back around, and you can use this to see where you're going to start your next line. Try to line yourself up best as you can, and then let the GPS do the rest. But yeah, that's that's basically it. How to use the GPS mod effectively? Hopefully that was good for you guys. The GPS mod is a nice option to have definitely recommend using it uh thank you so much for watching guys like comment subscribe turn on those notifications come join us on the farm sometime soon all right see you guys for the next one